Hello everybody, we're back with FIFA on the channel. Yes, it's been a while and I do apologise about that, but a trip to the UK over Christmas, a bit of a rest in New Year, then I got my third booster jab for COVID, which absolutely wiped the floor of me for about two days. But we're back and we've got some big games coming up. Roll the intro. Yes, hello folks and welcome back to the Harchester United FIFA 22 save and you'll see that we're going to be playing Hull City in today and you'll also see, spoilers that I was going to show you later, Lukas Ahovic, top goal scorer with nine in the league. He is flying in his new sort of second striker role sitting just behind the front man and we are going very, very well. We are up to third, three points behind Hull City who we play today and two points hang on where we go there we go and two points behind Portsmouth who we also play today we're doing a double game episode to welcome back the series against the top two teams and we sit in third so it's going to be a pretty dramatic episode it's going to be pretty intense they're not actually back to back there is a game in between which is Wigan but we're not going to worry about that we're going to play Hull I'll do Wigan off camera then we'll come back for Portsmouth and hopefully Come the end of those two fixtures, we will be top of the league, and that will be delightful. But let's get into the press conference, and we'll see what nonsense questions they come up with today. How you cope without Fernandez? Picked up an injury in the last game. We lost 1-0 to Bristol Rovers. Um, we'll deal with the situation. We've got an excellent squad. Why would I get angry and shout about it? It's not been a good start to the season. What? We're literally third. Can the steam... Yes, we can still go up. What a stupid question. Yourselves up against Hull City. Yeah, 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 yeah. These press. Do you fancy your team's chances today? The lads are 100% ready for it. I mean, what what nonsense questions. Okay, Absolute yeah, not. Sack the interviewers. Sack the press. They're rubbish. Right, let's get into it. And uh, we'll see what we've got. As it says there, we do have Fernandez out injured. And Edvardson is... Oh, my word. We've got Edvardson away on international duty. We've got Will Grigg away. That's not too bad because we can bring in uh, Abraham to replace him. Yes, I know he's on international duty. That's why I want to take him out of the team. How can this game be so bugged? How many iterations of this game have they made and it's still bugged like that? It still has little bugs that just mean it doesn't work. I know he's... And I'm not trying to place him in the day lineup, am I? Absolutely unbelievable. I've got to come all the way back here and do it in this squad. Right, back in a sec. Okay, right, now we've sorted that out. Our lineup is going to be Marinovic in goal, Orlando, Coles, Mbete, and Perkins at the back, RTM, Patino, and Sahovic in the middle, Ferretti, Abraham, and Jones is a pretty lethal front three, to be honest. Ricky J. Jones, RJJ50 on the left, is proving very good, and uh, LZ90 in the middle of the park gets on the ball, moves it, has got a pretty decent shot from range at this level as well. He beats goalkeepers from range quite often. Let's see if he's got any of those rockets for us today, as uh, it looks like Patino there warming up with. RJJ50. So it should be an interesting one. As, uh, that's Lukas Ahovic as well. They've got all the big names warming up together. You love to see it. And uh, they've, called, they've scored 32 goals in 17 games. Hull, they're going to be pretty deadly on the attack. And the team's come out. Let's get into this one then. It's been a long time waiting for this to happen as uh, Harchester United get us underway. And as per usual, we will be back as soon as I think there's going to be anything exciting. Ricky J. Jones puts it ball into the overlap for Perkins. He's not got too many options in the box. I was hoping Abraham would be able to get a run in there, but Abraham's actually won it back. We'll put this one into the middle, and there's a header. It's looping up in the air, but Ferretti was offside anyway. He's still numberless. Still can't give him a number. Um, EA, sort it out. Sort it out. Wilkes on the right-hand side for Hull City. He comes forward. Coles has had to come over. Uh, and meet him on this side anyway. He's just danced around him very easily. Puts the ball in. Patino's going to try and get there. He misses it. Smallwood shot past the post. And he just missed the target. And for a team that scored so many goals this season, that was a really, really bad finish. Charlie Patino in a bit of space. Running at the back four. Finds Maurizio Ferretti. Ferretti is just tackled on that right wing. Orlando will pick it up. His pass is blocked and kept in by Zerias. Zerias finds Doherty. For Hull City into Monker. Monker sort of tried to do a one-touch pass and nearly got it wrong. And Abraham has robbed the defender high up the pitch. And he's got two men in the middle. He puts it in looking for Ricky J. Jones. It's cleared away. It's going to fall to Perkins. He tries to head it back into the danger zone. Cleared away. And, uh, well, we're not seeing too much of an attacking threat from Hull City. But 
That was what it was like in the last game against Bristol Rovers. And yeah, they beat us 1-0. So we're going to have to keep this tight at the back and take our chances a little bit better. RJJ50 tried to put it in there uh, towards the runner, which I think was Luka Zahovic, but uh, not a good pass. And our attacks, they're forcing us wide quite well, actually. And it's, our attacks are breaking down. Now we've got a chance through the middle as Abraham picks out Charlie Patino. And Charlie Patino is just dribbling it too far, too fast. And couldn't keep the ball within his reach. And it's going to give Hull City a chance to come and attack as Scott has it. Back to Cannon. Up to Moncur. Down to Scott again. But it's good covering from club captain Coles. And Hutchinson United will hold onto the ball. It's Hull City coming forward again. But a wayward pass gives it away. And uh, Ricky J. Jones back in a more defensive position. Just switching with his left back Perkins for the time being. That's not a good pass from the striker. Come winger come left back now. As Cannon just gets around the challenge of Coles. And, uh, well, his, his teammates knock that off him and giving it to Gianluca Orlando, who then passes it out of play. What a terrible 30 seconds of football that was. Archester United trying to be a bit more patient in their approach, it seems, in this game. No, they're up against a good team. Luka Zahovic is surely caught on the edge, but he's actually kept the ball. And he's still going here, LZ90. Just cuts back. Not too much on. Abraham's pulled off towards the edge of the area. Gets a shot off. Oh, Abraham! What a goal that is. You don't see it very often from the tall striker. But Abraham fires it into the bottom corner from the edge of the box. I thought that was going so far wide. It was unbelievable. But Luka Zahovic, really good running through. The referee played a great advantage, to be fair. Zahovic got to the byline, cut back, put a pretty bad pass into Abraham. But a lovely curling effort from Abraham into the bottom corner of the net. And the Harsh United fans go wild. And it's a lovely finish from Tammy Abraham. Not Tammy Abraham, Timmy Abraham. Tammy Abraham's the really good one. As uh, Abraham sticks it in, it's 1-0 Harchester United. And here come Hull City looking for uh, an immediate response, to be honest, as Wilkes again down this right-hand side for Hull City. And he's got that back. Perkins with a good interception, though. Abraham, great hold-up play. Gives it off to Ricky J. Jones. And there is a man over here, and he's not put a good crossfield pass on. He is right-footed, RJJ50. So that wasn't a very good showcase for his weaker foot. And it gives Hull City the ball back. But Patino's got a good interception there. Zahovic. Oh, just got a foot in that, which meant it couldn't get through to Abraham. And we know if we win this, we are right in the title races. Patino's won the ball high up the pitch, and he's fed it through to Luka Zahovic, and he's offside. Zahovic picks the ball up again in that little, that little pocket of space just outside the area of Hull City as uh, Ricky J. Jones just trying to trick his way in. Referee! Coyle got the ball. It was a hopeful appeal there. And more the fans than the players, to be honest. As Smallwood trying to get a bit of possession for his team. That's a good ball up towards Coyle. Cannon now on the ball for Hull City. They're trying to push this forward. Not really getting anywhere. Patino is beaten to the ball by Cannon. That's a good ball in towards Wilkes. Wilkes lays it through. And that is a wonderful block from Coles. Back into the team. Due to the injury to Fernandez and Marinovic with a pretty simple save at the end of that. As we tick down towards half-time. A bit of drama here at the end of the first half. But that is half time and it's 1-0 Harchester United. Come on. Good stuff. So no changes for us. But they have bought on green for Smallwood in uh, the centre of midfield area. As uh, Scott still keeps his place up front. Now Scott is a bit of a giant. So I'm really hoping they don't get the opportunity to put many crosses in. Although we've given the ball straight away to, to Wilkes. Who could be in here. Marinovic has started to come for this one. Then gets back onto his line. And uh, Mbete is there to, to clear that one up. And Ricky J. Jones has been fouled. He did well to shield the ball there. And it's going to be a yellow card. Early doors in the second half for Lewis Coyle from Hull City. Perkins got a lot of space to run into here and can release Ricky J. Jones. And the Hull City marking is pretty terrible. And Ricky J. Jones has won a corner for a minute there. I thought I'd run that completely out of play for a goal kick. But luckily, I managed to keep it in just for the corner. It's going to be Patino to swing this one in. And it's going in there towards Abraham with the header and it's hit the bar. Abraham denied his second of the game after a looping header from the corner. Not too sure if Ingram did get a touch on it, the goalkeeper for Hull. But a very close opportunity there to give what would surely be an insurmountable lead. Because Hull City have really offered nothing going forward at the moment. As uh, here is Moncur tries to put them into Scott and Artian covers it well. Ricky J. Jones is there and that's not a good pass i was trying to send perkins up on the overlap it didn't work scott perkins does get a touch on it and ricky j jones can cover and we'll just keep the ball for a little bit and take the sting out of the game 
Sohovic on the ball. Out to Ricky J. Jones. Sohovic was caught late. Ricky J. Jones takes the advantage well. Perkins oh, just put the ball behind RJJ50. That is a wasted opportunity. Again, a pretty decent advantage played by the referee there. Gianluca Orlando intercepts the ball well and looks to pick out his opposite wing. And uh, Perkins does well to bring that one down and keep it in play. Up to Luka Zahovic. Ricky J. Jones. Back to Zahovic again. Luka Zahovic has a bending effort. Great save from Ingram to keep that one out. It remains 1-0 on the 60-minute mark. And we're going to make our first substitution. Holsgrove comes on for Patino in the middle as uh, Moncur is replaced by Williams for Hull City. Corner comes in. Looking towards Abraham again. Couldn't quite make the most of it. But Coles keeps it alive. And Luka Zahovic, it was on his weaker foot but sort of behind him. Had to try and do a weird sort of spin move there that didn't quite work and Hull City will come away with it and uh, Williams the fresh legs is trying to launch a counter and well Orlando dived in on that side didn't get the ball and gave Williams an easy run up the wing and he's still going here and he picks out Cannon who lays this one back to Doherty and it's over the bar terrible finish Perkins again this left hand side has been dangerous for Harchester United today as Perkins comes forward looks to dink that in is it too close to Ingram it is but he's had a four twice He's had a bit of a flap at it. Perkins tries to keep it alive, but Scott picks it up on the edge of the area. Good pressure there from Artian to win it back as Ricky J. Jones just sensibly keeps the ball and keeps it moving around. Coles. Gianluca Orlando into Holsgrove, the substitute. He picks out Abraham, who just gets battered off the ball. Closed him down quickly after his last shot. Went in the bottom corner as Williams looks to break out for Hull City. And he has got just in behind his man here, and that's a lovely ball in towards Scott. Coles gets a deflection on it, takes most of the pace off that. 20 minutes to go, and Hull City is starting to come alive. Oh, and Wilkes could be in. It was an overhit crossfield pass uh, from Orlando to Perkins that put the left back in a lot of danger, and Cannon rifles it home. He's not going to miss there. We said they were looking dangerous, and it's a mistake from Harchester United that's given Hull the equaliser. Gianluca Orlando tries a big crossfield pass. It put Perkins under trouble, and rather than letting it go out for a throw, He's trying to head it back to his centre-back. And what's happened is that, well, Wilkes has got on the end of it. He's laid it square to Cannon, who's absolutely rifled that in the top corner. And uh, nothing Marinovic could do. 1-1. So hard to United have it all to do now, sacrificing that 1-0 lead. But they do have a, an opportunity here because Ricky J. Jones comes forward and he lays it in to Abraham. Abraham, oh, he flicked it up, but couldn't get a good shot off on that left foot. And that uh, well, was a good save from Ingram. He stayed tall till the last minute. It's Perkins with a, a good interception. Picks out the opposite fullback, Gianluca Orlando. And, oh, it's a lucky challenge, that on Ferretti. Dive, dived into that one. I probably had enough time to have a bit of composure and go round him. But, you know, after a few weeks of not playing the game, this is what happens to you. You lose a little bit of that tact and acknowledgement of what buttons to press. And we could be in trouble here. Cannon's already got one. Wilkes, there's another shot. And it was Scott it fell to. Cannon's on it again, trying a bit of nifty footwork. As, uh, Williams has it on the left-hand side. And whole City, it really has rejuvenated them getting that goal. Abraham on the ball now. Looks it square towards Zahovic. Up towards Ricky J. Jones. Off it goes towards Perkins. Perkins picks this one up. He's got runners in front of him. One of them, Zahovic, in towards Ricky J. Jones again. This is, a, oh, I was going to say, a bit better. The slick passing we've become used to with Hartchester United, but not the case on that one. Luca. Over the ball, trying a bit of magic footwork to get him through. Luka Zahovic just pushed off it, but managed to use his strength to keep the ball. But his pass is poor. And Hull City will look to break again. And Williams has made a difference since coming on for Hull. He's just given them a bit of fresh legs and pace in the final third. As uh, Cannon's in, and here he is, Williams. And he's sort of sent Coles spinning around the wrong way. <sighs> I actually kicked the back of his heels there. And Williams is still going. It's great footwork. From the substitute, good save from Marinovic. Cannon's got it on the edge. He's laid it back towards Doherty. In that goes towards Scott. They're appealing for offside, and I think he was. So a big round of applause now as Perkins is replaced by Sam McQueen. Our record signing, I think. No, not record signing. That's Ricky J. Jones. Our, our, one of our record signings at the time. Back from injury after fracturing his leg. Um, he comes back to get his first appearance in over like seven months and he's on the ball now signed from Southampton uh, it was a good little play who started to do pretty well for us to be honest we are going for this win as well as Luka Zahovic uh, is just robbed there McLaughlin picks up the ball 
And, uh, well, he's sort of running into a bit of a cul-de-sac. He's found Doherty in Hull City. Hang on, that's the end of the game. It went by in a bit of a flash, that second half. So, well, McQueen got 30 seconds. It's a 1-1 draw, which I think is still going to keep us in the title race. But the big game is Portsmouth coming up next. So a very comfortable 1-0 win against Wigan. We just won't talk about the uh, 89th minute penalty that they missed, blo blazing it over the bar. Uh, but yes, we won 1-0. So we are now in second and Portsmouth dropped to third. They lost 2-0 to Shrewsbury. Um, Hull City still have that three-point gap above us, which is really irritating because if we had beaten them, we'd Thank probably be top patience. right now. But we've got another nonsense press conference. So uh, let's go and see. Is the squad deep enough to take you up? Uh, yes, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It was a narrow 1-0 win in your last game. We're for more goals. We've got goals in us. Sure. We've got goals in us. It doesn't really matter. The result is what matters. Yeah. It's a real six-pointer at the top against Borsman. At our best, we'll beat everybody. I've said the little microphone one every time there. And okay, guys, the, the, the players love it. Hopefully, everyone's fit enough for this game. Because it is... Yeah, see, this is the thing now. We're going to have some fitness issues in this game. Because... There is only two days since the last game. So McQueen is going to start at left back. Griggs going to come in up front. I think the rest of the back three have to stay the same. Artiana Patina. We're going to start with that. They're the only two changes to start with. I think it would likely be Holsgrove and Rodriguez to come on in the middle. And maybe Johansson as well. Or Johannesson. Johannesson. Johannesson? Johansson? It's not Johansson. How'd you say that? Johan Ness Sen. Johannes Sen. Johannes Sen. That'll do, won't it? That'll do. Um, and then yeah, we've got options up front as well and on the wings. Nah, that'll be all right. That'll be all right. That will be all right. Let's go. Come on, Pompey. Let's see what you've got. So, Lukas Ahovic is the EFL League One top scorer with nine goals. Hasn't added to it, actually, since we've started this video, which is very frustrating. Hopefully, he can get a couple of goals today. In the rain... Here at the Harchester United Community Stadium. We'll have to wait and see what's going to unfold in this game. And as ever, we'll be back as soon as there is some interesting action. Sam McQueen has uh, lost the ball on the left-hand side. He is looking and feeling a, a little bit a little bit rusty, actually. That's an offside call there on Johnson. At Portsmouth at right back, pushing high up the pitch. But yeah, Sam McQueen doesn't quite feel right. But we know he has got a good cross on him. That's not a good pass either. We are not getting our passing game going in the early stage of this one as Marquis is a deadly striker he tries to put it out left towards Jacobs Jacobs is well stood up very well by Edvardson and Edvardson has got whoa I've given away a corner that we are not playing well in this game only six minutes gone already it feels like feels like something isn't right as that's a good header we'll let that one go off though Raggett heads comfortably wide the captain for Portsmouth nothing really to worry about Okay, Portsmouth are playing a very high-pressing game, which I'm hoping will allow us to exploit some spaces just like this as Grigg lays it out to McQueen, puts it in field to Zahovic, a good touch and couldn't quite get past Raggett at the back, but a promising attack that time for Harchester. And yeah, Portsmouth really are playing a pressing game here as, uh, well, Marquis has put a lovely ball into Reed, and Reed could be through on goal. He tries to cut that back and Artian's well-placed to intercept it. And look at that for that press that we're talking about. As uh, Reed tries to put that one through and Ed Vardson's there. He tries to clear it away. It hits McQueen and Portsmouth just keep on coming. And this is why they're near the top of the table. Artyan with some good footwork to try and take control of this uh, this moment. And he has done that as Ricky J. Jones does win a throw. LZ90. And it goes towards Grigg. Grigg tries to put it through. Ferretti in towards Patino. Can't quite get there. And I know that the stamina is going to go very, very quickly. As Luka Zahovic is being called the player to watch for Harchester United. And uh, I'd say that's about right. He's probably one of our best. Artian. Up it goes looking for Luka. Just a good bit of touch and control there as McQueen takes over. RJJ50 is, uh, is on a run forward and he picks out Luka Zahovic. He flicks it on one more to uh, Patino. Patino with an effort from range. Easy save for Bass. Oh, though that's a terrible throw out. And Patino... Can intercept that one and rob it back off the defender. Patino, oh, I was trying to just squeeze that through with a reverse pass to Grigg. Didn't quite work. As, uh, yeah, it's annoying we had to drop Abraham. He actually scored the, the goal that gave us the win against Wigan as well. But, uh, yeah, I think fitness-wise, right decision to give him a rest. RJJ50 looks towards LZ90, who's putting good pressure on the back. It's actually a bit of a 
bit of a pressing game this. Both teams seem to be pressing quite high up as that will be easy for Coles to read that one. He can go back to Marinovic. Not going to mess around with it there. Just going to try and get this one away. Edvardson does win the flick on him. Ferretti keeps it alive. That's not a good pass though. Looking for the run of Luca as Thompson manages to get it away. Morel. Good one-two there. But that's going to go into the path of Edvardson again. Marinovic will just clear his lines. Look to get this one away as Grig wins the header and Ferretti is trying to use his pace but good strength there from Vincent. And oh my word, we are... It's a bit bitty this because both teams are being pressed so heavily. Oh, that's a bit of a late challenge. Referee says play on. Marquis digs it out towards Reed on that side who easily gets past Sam McQueen. He's trying to get back in position. There's a man over at the back post. A volley. Good save, Marinovic. That's the first real chance in the game. Half an hour in. Marinovic pulls off a good save with that one as that's in. It's headed away by Will Grigg doing his defensive duties. That's a good turn from Ferretti. A lovely turn, actually. And there could be an opportunity here because Ferretti comes forward. He sees Patino. Patino lays it off towards Ricky J. Jones. Ricky J. Jones just trying to wait for the perfect pass. And he's picked out Lukas Ahovic. And the shot is so rubbish. Straight at Bass. And that really should be 1-0 to Hartley United. A great counter-attack from the corner. Just not having it today, though. It's not going in. They need to test Bass a little bit better with better shooting than that. Ferretti lays this one into Patino. Patino with the drive. That's a better save from Bass. It's forced him into a diving save. Something we've not seen before as one of the substitutes get a talking to from Carl Fletcher. Corner ball then. Patino to uh, swing this one in. It's gone a little bit deep, and it's an easy header away by the Portsmouth defence. Ricky J. Jones tries to keep it alive. Oh, that's a terrible pass from Will Grigg. Don't quite know what that was. And they're trying to put Morel through, who's run forward at pace. Jacobs with not a good pass into Vincent. But Vincent does the best he can with it. He's chased down by the big lad in Betty. And uh, well, Betty's forced him into going backwards. Thompson takes over the pass. Up to Morel. Tunnycliffe. Morel again. Just trying to twist and turn and create some space. Jacobs into Morel again oh, that's a lovely little back heel Morel with a shot it's a lovely well worked goal from Portsmouth five minutes before half time Morel with a cheeky back heel into Marquis and Marquis I thought he was going to shoot and he's absolutely done me with the pass back to Morel it's a superb goal it's a really good goal this ball here lovely back heel and then the one two just opened it up took Marinovic out of the game really he thought that shot was coming from Marquis and Morel just fires it past Marinovic. Potentially could have done better, but I think he was just taken by surprise from the shot. Will Grigg into Zahovic. Lots of space for Ricky J. Jones, and he's trying to cut inside, but the defenders get back at him, and I think fitness is, make, is playing an issue here. Maybe should have gone for a bit more of full rotation of, the, of most of the 11. I think we're going to be struggling to keep the tempo that I want for much longer into the uh, into the second half as Ed Varton does just about squeeze that pass through. Ferretti, Grig, good good turn there. And he tries to pick out Zahovic but can't quite get there. And at half time, we find ourselves 1-0 down at home. Portsmouth take the lead through Morel. And we have had to make a change at half time. It's controversial as well. Zahovic goes off to replace by Johansson or Johansson. And yeah, I'm not too sure how that would have actually gone down with the fans. But he was knackered. He was absolutely dead. Johansson does bring a bit more height into the midfield. Uh, he is taller than Zahovic. He's not actually that far off. Oh, no. A terrible pass. Morel has got there, and that should be Marinovic. And we've been bailed out by a poor pass there. But, uh, yeah, Johansson, sh well, he should be able to fit in pretty well into how we play. And this press from Portsmouth is causing me all sorts of problems. They're really not allowing me to get on the ball. Artian with a, a good tackle there. Ricky Jane Jones gives it away. And that's the thing, the press... The press they're playing is stopping us having good possession and making our passes count. Patino. Here is Johansson. Tries to give it back towards Patino. He tries to flick it wide. And Ferretti is going to get there. Ferretti's got the pace. Ferretti's still going. Ferretti blasts it home. The defender couldn't catch him. It's 1-1. Johansson to Patino to Ferretti. And that... I don't know who he's pointing at in the crowd, but he's trying to show someone a message. And that is a cracking finish. Full of power at that near post. The keeper had no chance. The defender couldn't catch up. Just absolutely rifled it into the roof of the net. And I think if the keeper had blocked that, it might have broken his arm. Because that was pure power. A lovely finish there. And uh, yeah, 1-1. We're back in the game. 
And the little stat is saying that's his first goal in 17 matches this season. So, uh, well, what a, what a time to get it. Oh, that's a lucky bounce, that. Marquis tries to find Morel again. And Morel's put that one through. And Mbete gets a foot in and can clear it away. And it is going to go out for a Portsmouth throw deep into Har Harchester territory. As, uh, well, and they haven't done much with it because they threw it straight to Moretti, who has won one header and then kept it alive as well as Grigg holds off the tackle and feeds it back to the goal scorer, Moretti, as Moretti tries to put it through. Johansson can't quite get there. But, uh, oh, that's a terrible pass from Thompson. It's kept alive by Artie and Patino tries to put a ball through. It's a lovely pass. Johansson scores! And the substitute, the youngster from the academy, makes it 2-1 to Harchester United. Another one without a shirt number. Seriously, he yeah, sort it out. But come on! What a turnaround. Patino, what a pass that was from Charlie Patino here. Artian did really well to keep it alive and win it. And just Charlie Patino, well, thread of a needle pass that one to get it round Raggett. And uh, Johansson in that position saw what Ferretti did and just thought, I'm going to absolutely belt this one past the keeper. As long as it's on target, it's going to go in. And that is 2-1, and that's how you do it. Portsmouth trying to chuck people forward. Now you can see they've got... Basically trying to have a four-on-four four with our defenders here as Marquis into Morel. Those two trying to combine again for another goal as Reed up against McQueen, who has looked a little bit dodgy at left-back today. Might have to come off, you know, because he's definitely got some issues tr trying to do, but trying to play. But Grigg nearly had some good hold-up play. Patino back there defending as well. He's one that doesn't normally make the 90 minutes. Oh, Marinovic has had an absolute shocker. Marquis has closed down his clearance and it's 2 2. Oh my word. As Marquis runs off celebrating, Marinovic, Patino just knocked it back. He took a touch and that gave enough time for Marquis just to close him down and made sure of it with a nod about a yard out. It was going in. Marinovic was never going to get there. But what the ever reliable Marinovic has had quite the error there. 2 2. And that forces Carl Fletcher into a double change for fresh legs. Holsgrove on for Patino and uh, Perkins on for McQueen at left back as well. 66 minutes gone. 2-2 two, two in this well barnstorming game here at the Harchester United Community Stadium. That's a terrible pass uh, coming from um, Artie and that one was as Hackett comes forward. He looks like he's come on to replace Reed on this right hand side which could be uh, a bit of an issue for Harchester United because they've had some trouble down that side. They've got fresh legs themselves with Perkins. As Here is uh, here is Grigg, and he tries to put a ball through looking for Johansson. He's not going to get there. Ferretti, though. Ferretti showing his pace again. He's having a great game, the youngster Ferretti. And Ferretti shoots this time. The keeper knows what he's going to try and do, and Bass makes a good save. Right, corner ball. And it goes from Ferretti, and it's a challenge in the air. Johansson... Ref, that's got to be a foul. It is a foul, because Johan Johansson... That's a really difficult name to say. Had control of the ball. And here is Ferretti lining this one up. But first, a substitution for Portsmouth. As uh, Jacob's on or off. Curtis on or off. Curtis on, Jacob's off. Right, let's see if we can uh, try and ping it like that. Oh, what a save from Bass. How has he pulled that one out? I thought that was going to be the first free kick I've ever scored on FIFA. What a save from Bass, you little bellend. We have really struggled to get RJJ50 in this game at all today as he's lost the ball a couple of times as we're looking for the winner. Uh, Torres on the ball now. Back to Tunnycliffe as we're just trying to cover off the passes. Up it goes towards Hackett. He gives it away. Oh, Artian. I don't know what that was. And Bete is just dancing around with the ball as well. Curtis shoots from range. Marinovic has a good save. Curtis just thought, sod this. I'm having a go because everyone's fannying around with the ball. As uh, Johnson comes off to be replaced by someone, Downing. Corner comes in. Perkins is at the near post, gets it away. Header straight back in from Morel. Marinovic sees it over the bar. Carl Fletcher will be a little bit anxious at the opportunities we're giving Portsmouth, but they are a good team. Oh, ref. Referee. Thank you. I was going to say, it must be a free. It must be a yellow, surely. Not a yellow, just a talking to. Holsgrove wins the ball in the middle, and Johannesson looks to turn and put it through to... To Grig, Grig. Oh, he saw the run of Ferretti. He knows he's got the pace on the uh, on the defenders. Johansson tries to go forward. Heavy touch though gives it an easy tackle for Torres. As uh, Curtis comes forward and an easy one-two gets the ball back to Curtis. And this could be a dangerous opportunity with time ticking down. Portsmouth are coming forward. Coles gets a block on the cross. 
Morell is there and Edvardson's back there defending well. Corner ball. And Pompey are going to try and get this winner as it goes in again. And Perkins gets a touch and it. Morell's there. It's headed on and Downing couldn't do too much with it. Marinovic with a, a pretty easy catch at the end of the day. He bowls this one out as Mbete goes forward up towards Perkins. Perkins lays it inside. Holsgrove turns, gets away from his man. Lays it off to Will Grigg. Will Grigg, heavy touch, but gets it into the path of Johannesson, who's offside. I thought I'd gone round the defender. Turns out he was offside. Oh, I should, oh it's so close. It's not that close because it's his front foot, I guess. But oh, just delayed that pass ever so slightly with Will Grigg. I feel like we're going to get one more opportunity. Artian, Grigg, this could be it. Holsgrove, it's Johannesson. The youngster's in. Johannesson, oh my word, Bass has saved it. We're into four minutes of injury time. Their goalkeeper has kept them in it there. Johannesson, with a great effort. The keeper just reads where he's going to put it. He opened up his body. And Carl Fletcher is there saying, come on, son, I would have put that away. And it goes towards the back post. Bass is there, great hands from the keeper under pressure. And uh, surely now, that was the opportunity that I was talking about. Literally, as I was talking to say, we're going to get, I think we're going to get one more. That was it. Ricky J. Jones putting in some good defensive work there. Fredetti. There could be one more here. Oh, the pass just wasn't enough from Artian as Hackett gets it away. Hacks it away, to be honest. Ricky J. Jones in towards Artian. Johannesson. Now it goes to Holsgrove. Oh, the defence stood up just at the right moment and it finishes 2-2. What a game of football that was. That was a joy to play. I hope it was a joy to watch. I really hope you stuck through the whole video, the whole game and got to this one. If you did, let me know which game was better. Do you think the whole game or the Portsmouth one was better? That's your question for the day. Wow. So, we've played the top two in the league, and we've got draws in both of them, I think it was. So, can't really argue with that. Right, let's go to this nonsense press conference that's probably going to happen. Here we are then, in the press conference. Hopefully they've sacked all the press recently. Um, there wasn't too much between us. No, we drew. A close game. Are you happy with the draw? Um, we didn't defend like I know we can. A, frustra a frustrating day, I think. We had chances to, to take the lead. Um, we gave him away a sloppy goal. Marinovic booting it into Marquis's chest. But um, you can't take your foot off the gas. I can't fault our commitment. We need, we need better focus. Marinovic, I'm looking at you. Really am looking at you. The game was there to be won, but after conceding the equaliser, were you worried your team might drop off and end up losing? No, not really. We had the best chance. Were you worried when they got the equaliser? Um... Maybe we thought we'd already done enough to win. Maybe. Maybe that. I mean, Marinovic booting it into someone's chest. Oh, I should have aimed it square. I should have hit it on his right foot. I should have done all sorts. But, yeah. Oh, well. What's uh, Luca? What's Luca got to say for himself, then? Sorry, boss, but I've got to say my piece. I hate being subbed off at the best of times, but that last game, I'm absolutely convinced I could have turned a draw into a win. If you had left me on, I was sure I'd at least one good chance before the end. And now we'll never know, will we? That's two points dropped. Well, it is two points drop, Luca. but the guy that came on to replace you scored one, should have scored another, and had lots more energy. So, look, don't worry about it. Look, well, I need, I need you to stay fit. I need you to stay fit. That's all it is. That's all it is. Right, there we go. Um, we're getting close to the January transfer window. We're at the end of November now, so the next episode will be in January when we start looking for some uh, potential deals of people to bring in. But there you go. You can see we are now five points off Hull City. They have got another win, whereas uh, we didn't. Luka Zahovic is now joint top goal scorer after not scoring in those three games. Uh, Peterborough have climbed above Portsmouth on 38. But all in all, we're looking pretty decent for a promotion spot now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. There'll be plenty more videos on the channel. Uh, and I will be streaming some Football Manager again over on twitch.tv slash cultured left foot when my timing allows. But thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.